I'm going to turn this down. I, I love this song. It's by Ezekiel G uh, Walker. Um, every praise. And it just put me in the spirit, y'all. I don't know about you, but gosh, if you can't praise after listening to this, you need some rethinking. Let's put it that way. So I hope everybody's doing today is doing just great. I know I am. And I'm full of energy and feel of spunk and feel of spark and just so ready. Today is just a good day. You know, sometimes you need to just stop. You need to just stop, sit back, listen to some music and praise and worship and alone time. I think so many of our lives are so busy, busy, busy and thinking, if not busy, that we don't really rest. And when you rest and start hearing the word of God and praising and listening, ah, rises up in your spirit and it just brings you so much joy and i know a lot of people wary and need this but i really came on to tell you something else yesterday i was driving around um actually north texas and enjoying the landscape and everywhere i looked i saw potential of pictures everywhere as a photographer i was supposed to take pictures of everything my eyes saw everything was beautiful and i didn't see it in the whole i saw it all in parts um, you know, a tree with a, with a particular fence, um, an old barn, um, a rooftop, um, some windmills. I mean, it was really, really cool. And actually I was on a dairy run for a co-op group and I got to enjoy this so much and share the pictures. I got absolutely stunning, beautiful pictures shared with our group. And so, uh, I was speaking to the Lord and having my time with him. And just, I spent like five, six hours. And it was just wonderful. And I heard, I believe, my next book. And if you haven't um, gotten it already, I have a book on Amazon. I also sell uh, another book um, with uh, prophetic photography, And He Whispers. And these are prophetic um, uh, photos that I've taken myself and what God has said about each one during that season. And so if you haven't seen them or want them, just get in touch with me. But anyway, I know I'm supposed to do my third book. And I knew there's more books to come. But I believe I got a, a, a title for it. And it's called, and I'm going to share this with you. Don't steal it. <laughs> it's okay if you do. It's called um, His Breaking. Okay, I didn't say He's Breaking You. I didn't say breaking as if in a car and stopping you, slowing you down. I said breaking he's breaking you so what does that mean and in this season please pray about it see what he says to you but i know what he says to me it is a season a time of like breaking in a horse not that we're wild but um we have been so self-contained and in our own understanding and our own ways and our own beliefs of wh what we've sealing it let's put it that way We've come, if you have not already, to a place where you've got to break through that ceiling now. God has been discipling you. God has been instructing you. God has been showing you. God has been training you. God has been teaching you. And a lot of us still desire the old ways, the old um, comfortness and comfortableness, even though we'll accept some change, but we don't want the whole, whole kit and caboodle. And we've been in resistance. So he's breaking. Um, and again, it's unfamiliar. It's uncomfortable. And there's th this, this is such, speaks such volume. There's so much to this to even just say, and, and it only gives me a couple minutes on, the, on the, the phone here. So I apologize for that. But it encompasses so much, so, so much, and so much of the season that we've been in. But you cannot cannot lean on to your own understanding in this you cannot you've got to totally lean into christ not trying to comprehend and understand in your own mind because his ways are higher his thoughts are higher so just letting go and sometimes standing there alone sometimes just being still sometimes being in confrontation because the battle is there and the enemy doesn't want to see that change and and especially if it's in families, I'm sorry, got a phone call there. Especially if it's in families and couples, even in single people's life. I mean, he's just trying to devise. 
he, the enemy, he's devising, he's trying to thwart the plans of God. So don't be afraid. Don't go into fear, fear from confrontation, fear from speaking the truth, fear of reper, uh, repercussions, repercussions, if I'm saying that right. Don't be afraid because we've been muzzled. And the enemy doesn't want you to speak. He will try to take you down any way he can. So I speak love. I speak peace over you. I speak triumph over you. I speak authority over you. I speak great health and wealth and inheritance. I speak God's plan over you. I get a, especially um, 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 place God's peace and his joy, um, his love and laughter over you. I think we're in a season that we need that. I think we need to stop looking at all the news and the negativity and, and hearing um, all the things that are out there that, you know, I'm going to be fasting negativity. I know that every time I do that, I am in such an awareness of what I'm saying, how I'm thinking, what others are breathing into me and into my life and what I'm accepting and listening in my ear gates, my eye gates, my mouth gates. Remember all those things. So... Time to saddle up. If you haven't gone on board, don't wait any longer. Don't procrastinate. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't let the enemy win. I'm telling you, you are so worthy. You are so beautiful. You are so valued by God. He has the plan and he will make it come to pass. Don't give up. Share that love, share that joy that, that of who walks in you, who you carry, who you have become. You're becoming. And so I bless you with that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope this makes some sense. Um, I can't wait to get into my next book uh, called The Break-In because actually that's what's been happening to me for the last two years, really three Um since we moved to a new new region, um, three years, three years of breaking me, some resistance, some not, some okay, some like, hey, hey, that's enough, or hey, how about some comfort time, or, or a little bit of joy, or um, reel it back in, or get some people on board with me, you know, and we have to submit completely to Christ and let him have his way. The time is different, yes. The season is different, yes. The world is different, yes. But I'm trusting in God. I'm trusting God. He has me. He has my family. And this is one other word too. He's keeping us. You know, don't try to, um, I'm going to say we battle, but don't try to keep things together like they were. Don't try to um, keep people. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. Um, release it. What I want to say is release it to God that he is keeping you. He is keeping your family. He is keeping your children. He is keeping you um, hidden. He is um, most high God. <laughs> he can do it all. And remember that. So trust in him. Trust in what he's doing. Believe. Um, and I know we've heard tens and thousands of words and so forth. But I just heard that word, it's breaking. He's breaking. He's breaking. And he, as in God, Jesus, he's breaking. He's breaking. He doesn't mean to break your spirit. He doesn't mean any negative thing about that. But he's breaking you. He's breaking you to the new, to the whole, I just heard. To the whole, to the wholeness of him. To the wholeness of what he wants. So I hope this makes sense. Don't ever be discouraged. And if you're sitting in that discouragement, I lift you up. I lift you up and I pour a blessing and a favor over you and your household. And I say rejoicing, hallelujah to Christ, what he is doing, what he will do, and what he continues to do. So bless you today. May you have a wonderful day.